Hi, here's a timestamp for you. All right, got my water, my tea. I actually got this new tea. It's called Grapefruit Honey Bush. I would rate it like, I think a seven out of 10. The flavor is good. It's just the bitterness I'll have to get used to. Today I'm making a song, not making a song, I'm covering a song, originally by Missy Edwards, I believe, but Morningstar redid it and they released a new album with that song in it. The song is called See The Way. Before I like picked up the camera, I was looking through some drums to put into the song and then that's when I got the idea, I, maybe I should record this. Yeah, I started finding drum sounds. I have like 17, well, I have 16. This tea is like really bitter. <laughs> Whoa! I don't know, I might use that. I might crop that and make it distorted. Ooh! Ooh, that's nice. Oh wow, okay, listen to this. With just one plugin, distortion, you go from this to this. That's just one plugin. Ooh, how does this sound with the distortion? Woo! I'm gonna use this snare when it gets bigger. I'm gonna use this hi hat throughout the song. I'm gonna add this kick for when maybe we go into the second verse. I do wanna find a small, a thin snare that is more of an electronic sound than a real sound. But like thin. Like that. You are away, May. Let's find another kick that I can probably use for the beginning of the song. Okay, let's do that. Oh, I also need to find out the BPM for this song. It's in 107. Let's drink my bitter tea. <laughs> ha. <laughs> oh, oh my, oh, okay. All right. Honestly, I think I'm gonna give that box away to another tea friend. I think I wanna add this. It's, it's a kick, technically, but it doesn't sound like one. That's what it sounds like. So I think I wanna kind of add that to the snare. in a different key. It'd be cool to have um, a synth at the dun 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 to make it sound a little 80s. That sounds good. I think I want to go right into the verse there. That sounds good. There's a lot going on in this loop, but I really like how everything sounds. So I'm gonna add a moving pad right before the second half of the intro. It moves from ear to ear. I think it'll definitely make it sound spacey and um, give it some character. Also, I changed the key to B flat. Now let's find another pad. Ooh, I don't wanna add too many pads because I have a tendency to like do that. Alright, let's let's just figure it out. I don't even know. Let's find a synth actually. I think I might do this one along with the bells for the thing. I eventually want like another pad to fade in with the the loop before it hits measure five. So it's not like doom.
face part, I'm gonna use a pick this time instead of my finger. I'm gonna do the, like, the slide kind of thing instead of, I'm just gonna slide up, so. That's kind of um, my plan for this bass part. Let's get started. I'm gonna add some distortion to the bass and possibly the kick as well, and possibly a snare. It's a source not everything. Um, what's next? So let's listen to it so far. Oh, that pad. We need a pad actually. Okay, that is literally fire. What in the world? That is so cool too. That's actually a bass that's just played really high. You can literally do anything you want. All right, let me find this pad. I keep getting distracted. Okay. Maybe that this part here, the, the chorus, the first chorus, it'll drop. So we want the bass to, to drop as well. So instead of double, we'll do bong, 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 bong. <laughs> I just decided to record. Um, I'm not very happy with this. I like the cover and I don't. There are some elements um, that I would like to keep, like the guitar line. Um, but I think I'm gonna listen to this cover again and come back and tell you what I think. Tell you what I'm gonna change, because I'm gonna change something. I wanna be happy with the with the finished version. The reason why I have been making these covers, it's for me, honestly. Yes. Anyway, let's listen to this song. Because <laughs> I do my nails. I have background vocals for the second chorus, um, but I might just take out the second verse and the second chorus and just do away with that and just go straight into instrumental and bridge. So we're getting rid of all this, right? Bye! Let's see if it's just the speakers that I'm not loving. Ooh, sounds very spacey. Spacey? Spacey. I'm not feeling that snare anymore. Let's find another snare. There's something that's just not it about this sound. Maybe I can work, I can play around with the EQ and see how that makes me feel. Yeah, yeah. 